Hey everyone, and welcome to a very special Pokemon Productions video. Today, it's my 100th video. I honestly can't believe that my video count is now officially at 100. And so to mark the occasion, I thought I'd do something that I did for my 50th video. Like, if you guys remember, for my 50th video, I reviewed my favourite game of all time, Sonic Unleashed. But for my 100th video, I'm going to be reviewing my favourite movie of all time, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Now, honestly, I love the film so much. In fact, I loved it so much, I even got the video game tie-in. <laughs> and I love this, and I love this game too. So... The film takes place at some point during, and this will be a spoiler heavy one. The film takes place during the Clone Wars, and we start off with the Battle of Coruscant, where Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan Kenobi are attempting to rescue Supreme Chancellor Palpatine from General Grievous' flagship, the Invisible Hand. They manage to make it into the ship and battle droid forces along with Count Dooku. Dooku manages to defeat Obi-Wan, but Anakin beats Dooku, chops off his hands, and then beheads him. They then... They then try to escape, but are captured by Grievous. They then get the lightsabers back, and Grievous escapes. They land back on Coruscant, and then Anakin reunites with his wife, Padme Amidala, and learns that she is now pregnant, and begins to have nightmares about her dying in childbirth, just like the, just like the dreams he used to have about his mother. And basically, Anakin doesn't want Padme to die, and... He um, just wants to keep her safe. And the Council track Gr General Grievous. to, And so the Jedi managed to track Grievous to the Utapau system and sent Obi-Wan Kenobi to... And sent Obi-Wan Kenobi to get him. At this point, Anakin is actually a member of the Council now, but he's working for them as a spy for the Chancellor. And, and it was an epic battle on Utapau that saw Grievous defeated once and for all. Me and all the while, Anakin manages to learn that Chancellor Palpatine is the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, the whole mastermind behind the war. And he informs Jedi Master Mace Windu, who then promptly goes to arrest him, ordering Anakin to leave, ordering Anakin to stay behind. So he and Jedi Masters Kit Fisto, Aegon Kolar, and Sacy and Sacy Tin, they are they are moving to arrest the Chancellor. But a fight breaks out, and it sees the three Je and it sees three of the Jedi Masters killed, with Mace Windu being the only one left standing. Windu manages to defeat him, and would have killed him if Anakin hadn't intervened. Anakin realizes that Sidious is the only one who can help him save Padme, and so Anakin chops off Windu's hand, and Sidious kills him. At this point, Anakin has died, and Darth Vader has arisen. And so Sidious then issues Order 66, which forces all the clone troopers to turn on their Jedi generals across the galaxy. And so across the galaxy, all the Jedi are being destroyed. They're hunted down and killed. And only a few have managed to survive, including Obi-Wan and Yoda, who then return to the Jedi Temple after it was destroyed by Anakin during his attack on the temple with the 501st Legion of clone troopers. They manage to make their way, and they realise that Anakin was the one who killed all the Jedi in the temple. So Anakin then journeys to the Mustafar system to, de to deliver swift justice to the Separatist leaders, and he destroys them all. Pogo the Lesser, Watambo, San Hill, Newt Gunray, all of them. And soon, Padme arrives and tries to talk Anakin out of it, but he accuses her of siding with Obi-Wan against him and force chokes her into an and Force Chokes are unconscious. A fight then breaks out between him and Obi-Wan throughout the planet's must have, throughout the planet's lava surface. And all and meanwhile, back on Coruscant, Master Yoda has confronted Darth Sidious, and a fight breaks out between them. Now, the re now episode three actually contains the battle of the heroes between Anakin and Obi-Wan. One of my favourites it's actually my favourite Star Wars battle of all time, along with my favourite piece of music from the saga. <laughs> It just, it was just so incredible. The music was just incredible. The visuals, stunning. And the emotion was rife. It was so, so, it was just there. It was just there. Brilliant. It was so, it was so cool. And the two fought all over the place, making it seem like the duel would last forever. 
Yorda and Sidious's duel ended quickly. Well, it didn't end quickly, but it ended first, with Yorda having been beaten and Sidious having lived to rule the galaxy. And so Yorda was forced to go into hiding, and he would eventually would on the planet Dagobah. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan manages to defeat Anakin by cutting off his legs and other and cutting off his legs and hand, and then goes on and then tells him that he loved him as a brother. And then Anakin is burned alive by the by the lava river. And then pretty soon afterwards, the Emperor's forces arrive. After the Emperor senses that Vader is in trouble, he and his forces arrive and they see Anakin's burned body. And so they get him attended to and they essentially revitalize him. They revitalize him in that case, in that suit of black armor. And he basically fully become and his transformation into Darth Vader was complete. Meanwhile, Padme gave birth to twins Luke and Leia, who would, of course, play a vital role in the films to follow, in the years to follow. And um, she soon dies after giving it, having lost the will to live. Apparently it's broken heart syndrome. It's kind of a real thing, actually. And so... The Empire has risen and it's taken control of the galaxy with, with Darth Vader as its enforcer. And so Luke and Leia are separated and Bail Organa and his family take Leia in while Obi-Wan takes Luke to his family on Tatooine, Baru and Owen. And they honestly, it's quite a dark film. I think it might be the darkest film in the Star Wars saga. Yet even beating out Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. So the film, I just love it so much. I love it a lot. I've watched it so many times, I can't even keep count. And Star Wars maybe, and Star Wars is my favourite movie franchise of all time. Hell, my favourite franchise of all time. I just love it so much. It's such a good film. I love it so much. And yes, I did get the tie-in video game. And you play out loads of different levels from the game. from Lots of different levels from the film you get to play out in the game. And you even get to see, and the cutscenes are even footage from Revenge of the Sith, which is incredible. And there's even a bonus level at the end where you can play out the, the events of Anakin and Obi-Wan's duel differently. Where Anakin kills Obi-Wan, he gains a new lightsaber and kills Sidious and takes the galaxy for himself. And that's actually quite cool. Honestly, I just love the film so much. I, I if, you, if you're a Star Wars fan, or just something looking for a high action pack romp with a high level of emotion, then I fully recommend that you should check out Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So thank you all for watching my 100th video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I certainly did. And I can't believe I'm actually at 100 videos. It's totally, un it's totally incredible. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And here's to another 100 videos. Bye-bye.